All right, now the man that we've left the final greeting to and introduction to, he is no stranger to South African football, no stranger to maybe controversial decisions, and I wonder why we've brought him in here. <laughs> That's the hanging judge himself, Errol Sweeney. Good to have you back. Thank you, Robert. And nothing has changed with Sheikh Saiba. Eh? <laughs> He's all. still complaining, still giving out, still moaning. Nothing's changed. I'm glad to see he's his old self. All right, we're going to be asking into the wisdom, <laughs> tapping into the wisdom there of uh, uh, Dr. Errol Sweeney uh, with regards to a couple of these uh, controversial moments that we've seen uh, coming through from the week. And now there was an offside possibility thereof. Doc, what's happening here? Clearly not offside. You see, the player has to be in an offside position before the ball is kicked, or at the moment the ball is kicked. In this instance, it's not. The old way... The old way was that if a player was level, he was offside. They've changed it now to encourage more goals to be scored. So now they're saying that if a player is level, he's definitely onside. And to be offside, if there's a doubt at all as to whether he's offside or not, the, the, the benefit of the doubt goes to the attacking player. This player is clearly onside. Uh, definite, legitimate goal. All right. As we've got it there on that freeze, <coughs> now a couple of people will be saying that even if there's a limb, like uh, they, there's an arm that seems to be just ahead. No, it's got to be the body. Got that life, it's got to be the torso. It's, it's got to be the torso yeah. that goes through. Not so that cancels out that myth yeah. again. It, you know, he can not score with his hands. So whether his hand is offside or his arm is offside makes no difference. Mm. He can score with his chest or he can score with his foot, but it's, he can't score with his hand. So All right. it's uh, the torso. Then now we've got that one out of the way. The fact that anyone that had a doubt as to whether or not that was an offside or not, we've been clearing it right here and right now with the doc and Farouk also giving his impressions. Shakes looks surprised. I don't know why, but let's go into the handball incident. Mm -hmm. Was it a penalty? Was it not a, a penalty? And we'll get here the wisdom again. <coughs> doc, talk us through what's going on. Well, here. I'm going to read you the, from the laws of the game, which I have here. And it says, handling the ball involves a deliberate act of a player making contact with the ball with his hand or arm. The referee must take the following into consideration. The movement of the hand towards the ball, not the ball towards the hand. The distance between the opponent and the ball, uh, the position of the hand does not necessarily mean that there is an infringement. So, and it goes on a little bit more. Mm. Uh, so it's, we, we, it's we've magnified this very quickly. We've magnified this yeah. to show where and how it was happening. Yeah. What do you, I mean, in, in this whole description, you talk about ball to hand, hand yeah. to ball. Yeah. Which no, one is it? If I, I would interpret that, um, that the player was trying to get his hand out of the way. Uh, and, and that sort of conforms with what it says in the, in the laws, the movement of the hand towards the ball. Mm. His hand wasn't moving towards the ball. He was actually trying to get his hand away from the ball. No penalty. All right. So what, what the fact that it does hit, which is what everybody argues, is that when, when the ball hit from whichever way it was coming through from, is that it was in the penalty box, should it have been awarded in the first place? Well, I think by the mere fact that uh, the referee awarded a free kick, if he had interpreted it as a handball, mm. then surely he should have given a penalty. Mm. It should have been a penalty. Had he not given a decision, then I concur with, with Doc on the fact that if it's not deliberate, if he's trying to get his arm out of the way, then it can't be a penalty. But for the referee to have given the free kick, surely it should have been a penalty because... He was in the box. All right, pause right there because I want to go back to Doc again and say, why give the free kick if nothing happened? Well, I don't, I don't know. But remember also, in fairness to the referee, he only has one chance. He doesn't have action replays like we're having mm. now. He only has the one chance. He saw it as, a, as a, a handball. He interpreted or he thought it was outside the penalty box and he did. He gave the free kick. All right. <clears throat> I, I didn't think it was a penalty. I watched the game and I didn't yeah. think it was a penalty. All right, uh, Shakes. But, you know, like I say, he only has the one chance, so yeah. you've got to be fair to the guy as well. All right, Shakes, so do you think that it was a case of a safer option just no. to give the free kick? I mean, as, as Farouk has said, I mean, uh, uh, I think that Doc will also attest to this. If, if, is, if we spoke about the, excuse me, a rev review committee or yes. something, mm. uh, do we need a review committee to say to the referee, we're giving you a yellow card now for... Because this no, you're talking, you're talking to someone that does not love <laughs> and does not appreciate the review committee. I, I don't know them. if your views have changed about that. I hate oh, them. So the referee can get look, away with that. Look, 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 look. The referee has one chance to look at it. And until FIFA bring in technology that says referees can now consult. Remember Zinedine Zidane? Yeah. It was sent off in the 2006 World Cup. Mm. Uh, and that was based on the fact that the referee actually looked up at the screen and saw the headbutt. He was castigated by FIFA officials after that because they're not allowed to have action replays. Mm. 
In 2010, there was also an incident with Australia, a free kick, or something was given, and Harry Kuehl, the, mm. the Australian player, also protested the referee and said, look, you see, look up at the, <laughs> look up at the screen. Look <laughs> up at the screen. <laughs> referee couldn't look up at the screen. He's not allowed to. So FIFA, as, as they do, they hang the referees out to dry every single time. And only now are they starting to bring in technology when referees have been castigated all over the place. They only have the one chance to look at it, Robert. You have to be fair to them. They only have one chance. They don't have several different angles and slow motion and action replays, etc., mm. etc. He can only make a decision based on what he sees at the time. All right. L let's pause it there quickly. I know, Farouk, you're going to make a comment about that. But I want to look at another incident which does involve another handball. Was it or was it not a handball? Was it not a penalty? And here, this one, Sponi Sokaitla, Doc? Very similar. Similar to the last one we were, we were talking about. Again, could you just let it roll on? Um, does he does he try to control the ball with his hand? Does he try to get his hand out of the way? You know, that's what the referee is looking at. And it mm. does say again, and I, and I repeat what the law says, the movement of the hand there towards is, eh? the ball. Did he move his hand towards the ball? He didn't. In fact, he tried to get it away. So therefore, he's, he's you know, it's not a penalty. Was a penalty given? I'm not sure. No. 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 So I'm perfectly correct. All right. So... Perfectly correct in terms of that. It, yeah, you see, it, it, even it, as it rolled on there, Robert, yeah. his hand went right back behind his back. But with the right. contact made with the ball? A contact perhaps was made, but yeah. you can see where he's not moving his hand deliberately forward, trying to propel the ball with his hand. That's what it used to say. They've changed it slightly now. If the ball is propelled by the hand or the arm, they now say if it's moving towards the ball. You know, he actually is trying to pull his arm out of the way. You've got to give the guy credit for that. That is not a penalty. Mm. Mm. All right. I mean, obviously, a difficult one there because now you, you're going to get. Not, <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to say that it, it could be difficult because now you're going to find guys who might see the flight of the ball coming through, and instead of going forward, they move backwards. But the well, act Robert, of stopping the, the ball is the game, there. and it's all there. Yeah. They're not reading the laws of the game, where it clearly says uh, movement of the hand towards the ball. They're not. It's all there. Why aren't they reading the laws of the game? It's it's clear. It's in black and white. In Church? layman's terms. In layman's terms, yes. I'm just uh, talking loud yeah. now. Mm. For the benefit of the attacking team, you, you saw the Gata uh, goal. Yes. Yeah. We give the benefit to a team that is because attacking. that's what the, the law attack. says. Because the law says. Yeah. That. And 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 if somebody watching it, unfortunately, Celtic supporters most of the time they sing rather than protest with those <laughs> such de their decisions. <laughs> but all what I'm saying, Robert, is in, in most cases. Those two uh, handballs uh, uh, should uh, would have been given in in, a, in another I don't know would have well, been given. You see, well, that's the referees, different referees giving different interpretations, yeah. and this is where there needs to be consistency. Okay. This is where the the proper training, development, mm. coaching, mentoring needs to be brought into place to get everybody to use an old phrase, singing off the same hymn sheet. And that doesn't appear to so be the case. So, what you're saying, the coach can be fired. Let's say maybe <laughs> the Celtics or the coach, the management felt that, you know what, we lost a game which we should have won, and then you're fired. The coach can lose the job with such decisions. Well, what are you going to do, uh, Sheikh? Are you going to change the laws of the game? I mean, until such time as FIFA changed. And this is what we go by. This yeah. is our laws of the game. We can't, we don't make the laws, we just apply them. Yeah, so, that's, that's, that's literally the Bible that yeah, uh, everybody is. has to go by. But, and with that, though, let's move away from what's been happening. As far as refereeing is concerned, let's go back to according to the hanging judge. It will be so difficult to have a penalty awarded in a handball situation. I think that's part of the mm -hmm. argument and part of the debate. And he knows as well that uh, we will always have a bit of an argument about what the referees want and what the laws want. And now the referees will come through and say, hey, this is the Bible that we follow. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said before, that I, I think the lines are so thin in yeah. terms of that whole handball thing, because in the end, unless the guy's really slapping into the ball, will the penalty be given? They can always move away. A ball can be blocked from going across over the line. You see, Robert, uh, this is where, like I said, the ref all the referees need to be singing off the same hymn sheet. Yeah. They need to be coached by the same coach. There needs to be consistency. You, can't have, you couldn't have Kaiser Chiefs bringing in five or six coaches bringing in Roger de Sa and, and Pizzo Mosamani and several guys, and Farouk, and, you know what I mean, and mm -hmm. telling the players different things. And I think that's possibly what may be wrong, particularly, and I'm talking about the guys operating in the Premier Soccer League, the PSL. They need to have a coach in there who's teaching them all the same things. My worry, 
and I don't know. My worry is that maybe there are different people giving different opinions at different meetings or different sessions. And because of that, perhaps, mm. and I say perhaps, I don't know, this is why we're not getting consistency. But there needs to be somebody in there teaching the guys. All right, that's the big C word, uh, consistency, which has been lacking. Uh, Sheikh's going to talk about Right, and uh, while you talk about that, uh, a lot of people also just uh, praising here the presence of uh, Dr. Errol Sweeney. Uh, Muketsu says, you know, uh, in fact, Derek Masong was saying that uh, at last we've got a referee in Dr. Sweeney to clarify all the misjudgments uh, that are happening uh, with the referees. So obviously, as much as other people are loving his presence, others say, no, that was a blatant penalty. <laughs> and uh, well, that's something that's, you can well imagine yeah. would happen. Uh, it was just one more issue there on the handling of the ball. It says the position of the hand does not necessarily mean that there is an infringement. So it's got to be clearly hand to ball, to yeah. put it in simple layman terms, as mm -hmm. Sheikh says. In layman's terms, hand to ball. Uh, and that was that didn't happen there. All right. Oh, man, all the discussions that are going on in Twitter, ridiculous stuff that is going on. But you know what? We love every comment that is happening. And you can tell it's about the rivalry. You can tell it's about the points. You can tell again that it's about what's happening right at the top. The hanging judge, Dr. Errol Sweeney, with me in studio, wanted to make a comment there because he was listening very closely to all those comments. One that caught your attention, Clinton Larson. I'm very, very disappointed in Clinton Larson uh, making that comment. Uh, and his, his actual words were, and I quote, the less said about the ref, the better. That's very disappointing, Rob. I mean, what, what, what did the referee do wrong? Denied them two penalties that were not penalties? What was the problem? You know, I, if, he, if, he wants, if he wants someone to come and talk to him about the laws of the game and talk to his players, just give me a ring. And I'll come down and I'll talk to him and I'll explain to him exactly why those were not penalties. Or was there something else he was complaining no, about? No, no. <laughs> I think it was, it was about those two incidents. Well, but maybe you know, there were more. Now. Maybe there were more. But is it, again, not respectable of a coach to actually say, you know what, you've asked me the question about the referee, and I'm saying the less said about the referee, the better, mm -hmm. because the more I engage about the referee, the more I will get into trouble as Clinton Larson, and the more I don't want to talk about the referee. Is that the way you interpret it? That is Certainly one of the, the ways. Way I interpret it. These, I, it's I one, it's it one a, of two ways. Well, I thought it, the, the way it came across there yeah. was really negative about the referee, and he was complaining about the referee. And sometimes people do that to say, if they don't want to say anything, or they're complaining, they say, well, the less said about that, the better. That, that to me, is, is an attack on the referee, and I, mm. I don't like it. If Clinton wants to call me, I'll, give a, I'll put my phone number up on the screen if he wants it, or he can call in, and I'll come down and I'll talk to him, and I'll explain to him, and I'll tell him exactly why the referee didn't give those two penalties. All right, Ferg. Well, I think, you know, as much as Doc is, uh, you know, uh, championing, championing the cause of referees, and I can understand his viewpoint, I think coaches also become frustrated at times when there's mm. inconsistencies. Mm. If you clearly look at that handball, had the referee not blown for it, I can understand Clinton wouldn't have the right to, to be aggrieved. But in saying that, he had blown for it. So surely he had seen a handball, which he interpreted to have been not correct at that mm. moment in time or, 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 or a foul as such. Therefore, he pointed to a free kick. But if you look at it closely, we have to look at the role of the assistant. If he didn't see it, as the doc says, he's got split seconds, what's the role of the assistant? We saw in the game where South Africa played car, a decision where the referee awarded a goal, mm. then went, the, the entire Bafana team went to the referee, went to the linesman, and mm. he, he took back the decision. So we, we, where does this split second thing come in? It's, mm. It suits them at times, the referees, and at times it doesn't. We have to be consistent. And I think in fairness, to <coughs> clarify things so everybody out there understands this is the rule and this is what should happen. Maybe then the goal that was awarded against Bafana should have stood. The way I understand mm. it. No, and I, I hear you. And, and, and it is a, a, a situation about consistency there. I will gladly say, and we see it every week here in the studio again, Doc, is that week in and week out you get a similar handball incident yeah. being given as a penalty. And in exactly the same manner, the following week, that is not given as a penalty. No card is awarded. The game carries on as if absolutely nothing happened. So the frustration with the coaches is with yeah. dealing with that. So how, how then do you yeah, but articulate frustration, that as a coach? Fr frustration shown by coaches can get people seriously injured or maybe even killed. Mm. And, and, you know, uh, I, I've seen coaches run up and down the line and scream and shout and, and, and almost get the, get the crowd on, on the back of the referee. The referee is on his own. He's got a split session to, uh, se second to make the decision. And he does what he thinks is right at the time. Now, uh, I didn't see the, 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 the uh, Bafana goal sure. against the car, so I, I, don't, I can't really comment on that. But, you know, that referee has got to go home tonight, tomorrow. Mm. If he made a mistake, he made a mistake. Uh, I'm sure he didn't do it deliberately. 
Uh, and referees will make mistakes all the time, and mistakes do happen. What about all the mistakes the coaches make? What about all the mistakes the players make? Nobody says anything about that. What about the mistakes the goalkeepers make? Nobody says a word about that. But the referee, actually, you could probably, you could combine the referee with a goalkeeper, and they make one mistake, and, you know, it's all over the place. I'll say the, so, the referee is a big decision maker, though, in terms yeah, of yeah, a football yeah. match. You, you know, you, you can win or lose a game due to one single mm -hmm. Mistake, so the, one single decision yeah. that's taken by ref. So the bottom line, uh, the bottom, uh, I nearly said the bottom line. The bottom line is referees are human. Yeah. They're allowed to make mistakes. Yeah. They're not allowed to make mistakes. But they, they can make, make mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. So coaches can also make mistakes. Yes. So every human in the soccer field is allowed to make of, mistakes. Not allowed. They can make mistakes. Thank you. They can let's, make mistakes. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Uh, very quickly, before I, I go into the break, ball boys. Others have been kicked. Others, all sorts of things have happened to them. <laughs> Guys but have laid are, are, on the ball they, and are them. they in a position to be given a red card? No. Not Only at all? Only the players on the field can be given a red card or substitutes. Nobody uh, else. Okay. Weird, bizarre, whatever you want to call it. I can tell you right now, though, that this, whether it was a red card given to a ball boy or not in the Swallows game, you what? make up your minds. <laughs> <laughs> we go into extra time one. break. <laughs> Shri, check it out. <laughs> He's sending the ball boy off. <laughs> now he's telling him, get in on the ball boy. I think he got the ball back properly and not in enough time. We've seen this quite a lot yeah. this season. I think that's the third or fourth ball boy I've seen sent off this season.